Hello everyone, and welcome to our series talk for the Tim Drake Robbins series. This is a start of a new series published by DC Comics, written by Megan Fitzmartin, with the art by Riley Rosmo. In this currently ongoing series, we get to see Tim Drake as he sets out on his own adventures away from the Bat family. Moving to the Gotham Marina, we get a detailed and intimate look at his personal relationships, including his relationship with Bernard. He is quickly drawn into a murder mystery very close to his new home and is pulled directly back into his mask and his role as Robin. The story of this new series is established quickly, detailing the important aspects of the new plot. The world and the tone are a mix of dark and youthful optimism detailed within just a few pages. The characters are brought into the comic as a way of building the foundations, but it is not long before it is shaken by a murder. After this, the comic becomes a straight murder mystery. As Robin tries to hunt for this killer, the structure is interesting as a lot happens within a very small period of time. With the clue gathering able to be achieved in single splash pages, the concise nature of this tactic creates a style for this series, and it would be great to not see only more of it as this series progresses, but for an extended period in the individual comics as well. The final part to this Tim Drake, Robin series issue one, is a frantic and explosive fight scene with a villain that was both new and unexpected as well. This issue is showing the budding early seeds of a series that's going to allow Tim Drake to step out of the shadow of not just Batman, but the rest of the associated Bat family as well. We all know too well that that is a group that can often feel overcrowded, so now there's this freedom for this hero to flourish. For one, now in this series, we get to finally see a real detailed look at this new relationship with his boyfriend Bernard. It is fresh and building an early example of Tim having to deal with secret identities that are not just his own and the responsibilities that come with that. It is also great to see parts of his training and upbringing to be part of his personality, but in a way that separates him from the other sons of Bruce Wayne. Being a good detective and an analytical has always felt more specific to the Tim Drake personality and identity than to any of the other Robins before him. Robin heading to a different district of Gotham also leads to it being brought to life by one of the best character artists in Rosmo. Every individual human looks entirely different due to the art style's entirely unique shapes and figures. But even the neighborhood itself has been transformed to be run down. Each building and boat has had time devoted to it so it does not look similar to the object next to it. Every corner seems oppressive and dangerous in nature, but that can also be said and used to play with misconceptions. I was initially not enjoying and a bit skeptical of Tim's design by Rosmo, with facial features that were slightly too small for his face. But that changes when he transitions into his Robin costume. The shape of the mask and the cape is perfect for this art style. The colors are brilliant and enigmatic. They are influencing the atmosphere of the very comic around it. So much of this book is incredibly dark, with pitch black skies and backgrounds with blue buildings in front of it. When needed, natural light is implemented from a street light, bringing a yellow cone to a specific part of the panel. This is held to a certain scale, so the light is larger when close up, and then smaller when the next page shows the whole location. This is a brilliant strategy that gives an immaculate sense of place. The colors also really come to life, 
When the robin suit comes out, it is uniquely vibrant, and the bleeding of the shades of color into the rest of the tile is excellent and organic. The lettering is fantastic and brings color to pages that may be too dark without it. Overall, I believe that this Tim Drake series is off to a terrific start for the character that has deserved a long overdue spotlight on him. Tim Drake as Robin has not had this much potential, meaty condensed writing offered up since the original Chuck Dixon trilogy in the 90s when the character was first created. A Robin that is often overshadowed by those around him. Tim now has an entire book's worth of space to shine and more on the horizon. There is an excellent blend of his upbringing having an effect on his personality as well as the relationships that he has around him. He is gathering a supporting cast that is unique to him and they're all brilliantly brought into the comic taking place within a magnificent mystery murder story. Thank you for joining us for the very first episode of the Tim Drake Robin series. This was issue number one in the Megan Fitzmartin series run. Please continue to join us in future videos and content as we continue the story. And please look for more Dawn of DC and other various comic content in the Dawn of Derek's comic channel. And I would just like to finally genuinely thank you all for continuing to watch, like, share, enjoy, and subscribe to all of the Derek's Comics content. Oh, that is a mouthful. I am so sorry. Everyone have a great, great week.